Hello and welcome to this video about uh, reassembling of a mechanism after um, service. This is a uh, mechanism from uh, TIAC uh, VRDS T1 transport and in them two gears always file, they just crumble, they were made from wrong material. One is barely visible there under the cover and the second one is underneath that big cog. Um, so what is important? What is important to get everything right? And there's only one way in which uh, when you insert the drawer, that particular big gear has to be. This is the gear that drives the uh, the drawer. And as you see here, it has a whole section of with no teeth. And that section ends up there when the turntable rises um, uh, to the top to meet the, the, the VRDS bridge that's on top. So, I use a method of trial and error. I sort of know where's the, roughly where it should be and then try to put it in and, and then test if it works correctly. I, I, was, I, I got it right on the third go in this instance. So, what happens is if you get it wrong, it will not complete the whole sequence and if you break any of the teeth, well, that will be the end of the, uh, of the player. Uh, whereas those two gears that I've replaced are available, but they're only available because there was a demand and, and people have made new ones. Uh, when I got this particular unit, that big gear was missing because the owner had a go at replacing it and he just removed it and then threw it all back into the box. But some parts were left um, in his drawer. So luckily he found it and gave me all the screws and everything and play is now complete. So, what's going on? Once you put the drawer back in, you don't have to do the whole cycle, but do not put power on the, the motor, or do not insert the whole thing into the player. Uh, ground yourself, as always, you know, I'm grounded to, to, so to prevent laser damage, because laser is not connected to the player. And then drive it with your finger, and then complete the whole cycle. In here, I have a sort of access to the gear from underneath, and it's now at the end. Will I be able to complete it? Oh, yeah, it managed. So, and now you can see that the turntable has risen. It's a floppy design, and the, the bridge is there that clamps the CD. But if you can't, you have to get access to the actual pulley that drives it and, and, and just advance it by that. So, once it's there, you know that at least that part is good. So now drive it the other way around. Uh, as you see, it is material where the gear is at any particular moment. It will, it will engage something, some kind of lever with that uh, channel. So, so that's it, you know, always do a test before the mechanics, before you put the whole thing into the player. And there's always a way of, 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 of testing. I only found recently one Sony machine that they could not do that. But I was pretty certain it was all right. Now, as far as removing the drawer, there's always a way of doing it and you have to work it out. In this particular unit, a couple of tabs there on the sides that you have to squeeze. On the rest of um, TIAC esoteric VRDS units, uh, and you know, other players that use them like Vadia, there is a big lever there, you just have to pull it out a bit and then the drawer comes out. Other players have different ways, you just look uh, underneath there what, what stops the drawer when you withdraw it and just look in there, you know, or that doesn't help, look from the rear, look from behind and then you can see, you know, you should be able to see what, what stops the drawer and then you know very often it is um, a bit of a plastic like a springy plastic that you can put a screwdriver in there and just push it aside and then the, and the drawer pops out. Well thank you very much and um, till the next one. Bye bye.